All right. Hey, everybody. We've got Monique Billings here. If you have a question for her, go ahead and raise your hand. I'll call on you. Angel Gray, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Good morning, Monique. I guess I'll start with this. Um, just the fact that you guys can come into the practice this, this next game, knowing that, you know, the losing streak is behind you and prepping for what means the most to you, you know, for tonight's game. How does that feel for you guys? And then just if you can just walk us through what this team has been discussing um, in order in order to finish out the rest of the season strong. Yeah, uh, it's a really good feeling, a light feeling, I'll say, coming off of a win. Um, we know we're more than capable, so it's just all about believing in us, having confidence to go out and execute. Um, we've really just been focusing on the process, which can sound cliche sometimes, but really just taking it one game at a time, breaking it down, uh, literally one game at a time, one day at a time. Um, we're down in numbers sometimes, but it doesn't matter. We just have to all stay ready and just show up and um, yeah, just be ready to perform. I want to build on that too, because you've been ready to perform in a lot of these games in the last couple of games. Um, I mean, the last three games, um, double figures for you, but also back-to-back -back games with um, a double-double. I know that you wanted to be more present on the offensive end, but just for you, how do you believe you've grown and have, have been able to help this team, and especially with so many players out in the front court? <clears throat> yeah, just uh, being confident to step up, knowing that I'm more than capable to do so. And so, yeah, confidently asserting myself, doing what I know I'm capable of. And now that I am able to have more time on the floor, utilizing it, just taking advantage of um, everything that comes my way and everything that um, I have to earn and go get as well. If there isn't another question, I'll go ahead and ask this too. Just you and Elizabeth Williams um, have been able to play with each other for a couple of years now and just knowing you're protecting the paint. It was really cool hearing Blake Dietrich talk about, you know, seeing you your rookie season and the growth you've had. But for you guys, just knowing that defensively stepping up, and that's a big thing for Darius Taylor and his mindset and step um, the prep for the game, how you guys have been able to protect the paint and even be the, that voice on the defensive end, how important is that? It's so important. I feel like E and I, well, Elizabeth and I are like the anchors. And so we have to just show up and um, do what's needed defensively, do the dirty work, I'll say, for our team. Um, I love playing with E. A lot of times I'm just like in awe watching her just throw people shots disrespectfully, but um, I love that energy that she brings. And it's been really nice being able to play with someone for so long and being able, being able to grow with her. And we just know each other really well. So we're able to play off of each other. So yeah, it's been great. Sorry, Angel and Mo it was me. I raised my hand. Hey Mo, it's Tabitha. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of my questions um, that Angel asked. So I'm actually happy that she asked it. But Mo, I'll ask you about these close games. Um, the last time you guys played Phoenix, you led them by a point with like a minute under, I guess with less than a minute um, in the third remaining. With that kind of a close game and with this win that you guys had over Dallas, plus having Dupree and Hayes back, do you guys, in your opinion, do you feel like that was like the missing factor, that that anchor that got you over the hump? Like, do you think that'll help you in tonight's game? Yeah, definitely. I think um, they're obviously assets for our team. And so they're going to bring a lot on both ends of the floor. But it's all about details and just collectively executing the small details. You know, when we're up one or two points with a few minutes left. Um, we just all have to be really, really solid, minimize our mistakes. And um, again, we all have to be anchors for each other in those moments. Do you think that getting that win over Dallas, like, you know, like you mentioned at the beginning of this press conference, like it's like a relief, like a sigh of relief. Is that kind of like, you know, with that win in your back pocket, I just feel like that was one of the things that was missing, you know, that push. Uh, and I, I don't know how I'm asking this question, but I guess... I'm just looking for a talking point on, I don't know, I guess that push over the hump to get the next win and to have that confidence to go out here and play a Phoenix team. Maybe, maybe some people see it that way. It's for me, I just know we've been more than capable. There's so many games that we've given away in just the last few minutes of the game. So for me, it's like, we should have had, we should have had those other wins too. So 
um, my mentality is like that game is over with. This is a whole new game. So um, I'm not even looking at our record. I'm not paying attention to it. I'm just looking at the game that's in front of me today and just thinking win. Thank you. That wraps it up very nicely. <laughs> um, Angel, back to you. I kind of wanted to just talk about that mentality moving forward for you guys. Um, uh, you were able to play spoiler for Dallas that was looking to, you know, clinch their spot in the playoffs. You have an opportunity to also kind of play spoiler for Phoenix, who's looking for better seating in the playoffs as well, while you guys are kind of pushing with this momentum. Um, how does that make you feel as far as having something to continue to push for and being that hungry team that's continuing to, you know, just grow throughout the rest of the season? Right. There's always something to push for. There's always something to play for every single game. Um, I don't care what team it is. Just having the opportunity to play in itself is a blessing that I feel like needs to be honored. So regardless of seedings or standings, I'm playing spoiler. We're playing spoiler every single game. I'm just trying to get the win. And I guess my last question to you would just be, what are those keys for you guys tonight? Um, knowing uh, the personnel and knowing, you know, they're on this hot streak, but what gives you the confidence that you guys can, you know, execute and take care of the things you need to tonight? Keys tonight have to throw the first punch. We have to um, just set, I guess, the standard, standard for our team and just set the tempo of how we want to play. And like I said, throw that first punch. Um, we know Sky has been... Uh, getting to the basket with ease she's really hot right now so stopping her will be a key um this team is great off the three-point line they've lit us up off the three-point line so making sure we um limit their threes and them getting to the free throw line will be really really important as well and um i think we can get out in transition on this team but we also need to stop their transition they're um, a pretty good transition team dt knows how to find her teammates in transition so um, just locking up, asserting ourselves from the beginning and um, just keeping a dominant tempo throughout the whole game. Spoken like a true analyst. Thank you so much, Mo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any more questions? Then we are good. Thank you, Mo. All right, thanks ladies. Bye. Bye.